How to make your character in your 2D platformer feel more responsive and fun to play. In today's video, we're going to learn about variable jump. I want you to head over to your player scene, and then click on your player script. This may look different for you, depends on how you've implemented your character scripts, but for me, my physics process of a handle jump function. If I scroll down, I can actually expand that function outward, and we can see that I just have a simple conditional statement that checks if the jump button is pressed and we're on the floor, we're allowed to jump. And I want to create a secondary conditional statement here that checks when we release the jump button. When we release that jump button, we actually want to cut our velocity so that we can have that variable jump. To ensure we don't have any magic numbers, we're going to want to come to the top of our script and create a new variable. We're going to call it jump cutoff value, and we're going to set to 0.4, so we're basically going to be cutting our velocity by 40% when we release the jump button. And we can just put that in our conditional statement, just like this, and let's go test it. Alright, let's jump a little bit, a little more, a little more, and the highest. Okay, it's working perfectly. I hope you guys learned something today, and until the next video, see ya.